Hello, here's a lot of sun, <laughs> isn't that beautiful? I hope you can see me. So, yeah, how are you doing? Uh, I think it is really important right now in this time to be living in. We see there's more and more craziness coming in the world that we realize where is our happiness coming from, right? And it always can come only from inside and um, this is a big walk <laughs> to be real to have all the real feelings some day we are sad some days we are angry some days we are happy but I think the main important is really to see that we don't have an outside source needed um, I mean it's good if we create it ourselves but this times which will come many people talked about that already many months before and in my daily satsangs i did when the first lockdown happened in germany i said there will be a second one everybody not everybody but many people thought i'm crazy and now see the news so what we do we're sitting being depressed it's normal to be depressed sometimes but yesterday i did a talk in a beautiful buddhist center really love the people they are beautiful souls and there were three or four souls yeah four souls i could see this deep deep depression it's normal to be upset sometimes it's normal to feel sad about things that happen in our life but if we really feel the deep depression then we we're not coming out of it fast and there's something it's called soul depression so when you wake up in the morning and you don't feel inspired you don't feel like yeah let's run you know <laughs> I mean, it's normal to not have it every day but if you feel every morning low when you wake up then and if you feel like oh so, that is soul depression this is not a real depression it's the soul has has a push something broke there and especially one i felt if she's not changing it around she might have even suicidal thoughts when i ask I could feel yes she has that thoughts she made like that and so there's some techniques and I want to share that with you here I mean don't give the mantra in a live stream and you know just look at the flame it's inspiring you so much and it's um, activating the third eye just staring at the flame just before you go to bed and in the morning just 10 minutes so in a very very um, very very happy through the, all the deep processes I'm personally going through even though it's sometimes so intense but over the last weeks I felt like yeah so what is my next step and what I'm doing here and why I'm doing those things and what is my why and my how and so I came up with a course on the pineal gland on the third eye and I'm very happy to present that soon there will be three free webinars i will post that link here and you can join me there you can learn and you can ask me questions there also about the power of the third eye the power of the heart chakra and with all the craziness which will happen now don't forget to be happy don't forget to reconnect to your soul this is so important this is our inner work right so i sit here a little bit it's a little bit cold <laughs> But it's a beautiful sun. I feel say now bye to the group. There was a group here. They rented our place in the seminar house. Beautiful woman. They had a woman group. I will just run and tell them goodbye. And see you soon. And please stay happy. And if you feel depressed on what's happening in the world, just stare at the flame. Take care.